in this video let me take one example on z transform determine the z transform of the following signals here two signals are given we need to calculate the z transform of the same let me consider the first one so x of n is equal to alpha power n u of n where x of n is defined that is for n x of n exists for n greater than or equal to 0 and its value is 0 for n less than 0 here we can observe that the x of n is decaying signal that is exponentially decaying signal that is let me represent here here it is said that n is greater than or equal to 0 if you take n equal to 0 the value of x of n at n equal to 0 will become 1 so i can draw the signal here suppose this is x of n say this is 0 1 2 3 4 and so on here if we take n equal to 0 the value of signal will become 1 so this is 1 if you take n equal to 1 it value will be less than this n equal to 2 it will be less than this it will be less than this it will be less than this like this the signal x of n appears like this now, so the z transform of any signal x of n is given by x of z is equal to summation n equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n z power minus n so here we can represent it as x of z is equal to summation n equal to minus infinity to infinity so x of n is given alpha power n u of n that is alpha power n u of n we have z power minus n here we can see that alpha power n is defined only for n greater than or equal to 0 and its value is 0 for n less than 0. So I can write x of z as x of z is equal to summation n is equal to 0 to infinity because n if n is less than 0 the value will be 0. So we should consider n greater than or equal to 0. So here the limit varies from n equal to 0 to infinity. So it will be alpha n u of n is not already defined here. So this will be minus z power minus n or, or I can this write this signal as x of z is equal to we have summation n equal to 0 to infinity. So here I can represent it as alpha z inverse power n which is same as alpha power n z power minus n. So we know that summation n equal to 0 to infinity alpha power n is given by 1 upon 1 minus alpha that is if alpha is less than 1. So here if we compare this signal with this we can say that this entire thing, thing is alpha. So I can write it as x of z is equal to 1 upon 1 minus alpha this entire thing is alpha that is 1 upon 1 minus alpha z inverse so here we can observe that if we take alpha z inverse equal to 1 then it will become 1 upon 0 which is nothing but infinity so here x of z converges if alpha z inverse is less than 1 therefore i can write roc that is region, region of convergence will be alpha z inverse must be less than 1 or I can write alpha divided by z must be less than 1 or I can write alpha less than z therefore I can write z must be greater than alpha so this is the ROC so if you take this as the radius alpha the ROC exists outside the circle. So this is ROC. Now let me take the second example. Here x of n is equal to minus alpha power n u of minus n minus 1. So here x of n value is 0 for n greater than 0 and its value is minus alpha power n if n is less than or equal to minus 1. Let me find the z transform of this we know that z transform is defined as x of z is equal to summation 
n is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n z power minus n. So therefore now I can write x of z is equal to summation n is equal to minus infinity to infinity given x of n is minus alpha power n u of minus n minus 1 z power minus n. Here it is said that the value of x of n is 0 for n greater than or equal to 0 and it exists only for n less than or equal to minus 1. That is n less than or equal to minus 1 means it is minus infinity to minus 1. So the limit will be minus infinity to minus 1. Therefore I can write x of z is equal to summation n is equal to minus infinity to minus 1. Its value is minus alpha power n that is minus alpha power n z power minus n. The same thing I can represent it as I will take minus outside minus summation n is equal to minus infinity to minus 1. Here it will be alpha z inverse power n. So here now I will try to replace this minus value. So I can write take let me take let l is equal to minus n. If we consider l is equal to minus n, I can represent this x of z as that is x of z will be equal to we have minus, I will keep it as it is, we have summation here n is minus infinity. If we take l equal to minus n, then this l will become plus infinity. Therefore, l is equal to infinity and here minus will become plus, minus infinity to 1 and here we can write it as alpha z inverse here n is equal l is equal to minus n means n is equal to minus l this will be minus l or i can represent it as minus l is equal to 1 to infinity alpha inverse z power l i made the power as positive that is therefore i have taken it as alpha inverse z power l Therefore, I can write x of z is equal to, we know that summation n is equal to 1 to infinity, alpha power n is given by alpha divided by 1 minus alpha. So, let me apply this here. So, here this entire thing I will assume it as alpha. So, the limit is same here, l is equal to 1 to infinity as here n is equal to 1 to infinity. So, this entire thing is alpha, I can write it as. alpha inverse z divided by 1 minus alpha that is 1 minus alpha inverse z. So this minus is as it is. Let me simplify this or I can write it as to remove this minus I will write it as alpha inverse z divided by I will take this term first so that minus will can be replaced by alpha inverse z minus 1 or I can so now here in this expression, if alpha inverse z is equal to 1, then x of z will become infinity. So alpha inverse z must be less than 1. Therefore, ROC is this alpha inverse alpha inverse z must be less than 1. Or I can write z divided by alpha must be less than 1 or z must be less than alpha. Further, I can represent this signal as 1 upon 1 minus alpha z inverse. Let me draw the ROC for this. That is, here it will be. So, ROC is less than alpha. If this is the radius alpha, then ROC exists inside the circle. So, inside the circle is ROC. Thank you for watching.